Jason, it's your first fight since um, losing in that world title fight to Jarrett Hurd. What was the main reason you decided to carry on boxing? Obviously, really, my career has changed in the last two to three years, and I've obviously, being it full time as a professional, that's all I've been doing for the last couple of years. So, going in with obviously the UFO world champion, then and how I felt and how good the camp, everything. I just felt brilliant. I thought it's a shame to just throw it away. Even though I've got to that level now, there's still a lot more in the tank to get back. Yeah, it would have been a waste, hasn't it, yeah, if you walked yeah, away then? I mean, it was a, it was hard. Like, I mean, it was frustrating because I was up and I felt brilliant in there. It was just um, lost my head a bit. That's experience. So I'm taking that into the, my next fights, and uh, we'll go from there. And do you, do you think you can still show this weekend when you face JJ Metcalf that you belong at world level? Yeah, definitely. This is but this is belong at my level. I've been British champion. I've defended it. I fought at middleweight prospects like yourself. I've, I've done it. I've been there and done it. He hasn't. So I've got to prove. Not looking past, um, but I've got to prove that I'm here and I'm ready to mean business and I'm ready to get back where I belong. And what do you? What's your opinion of JJ as a fighter who's unbeaten? I've never aced much of him, like to be honest. I've sparred him years ago, but uh, I think he's a prospect. He's hungry, young kid, up and coming. He wants these titles. He wants British combo. He wants the. He wants to get where I get, and where I have been. So um, he's hungry. So obviously, this just fires me up even more. That to say, I'm stopping here, and I've got a few more fights left in me at a good level. I don't know if you've seen the odds, but the bookies have got you as the underdog yet again. Does that ever does that surprise you? No, no. I'm not. To be honest, it never bothers me. But uh, the one thing what I do like is when I prove them all wrong at the end of it. So I just laugh after and all the lads are up. So at the end of the day, it's boxing. People's got the favourites. I've always been the underdog. I've, I've got here on, on hard work for myself and dedication and not having the promoting side like he's had and pick fights and pill it. You know what I mean? But uh, we ain't got to get down that picture. I've just got to get the win sad night and we can move forward. And when, when you go back, when do you think the turning point in your career was? Was it that Marcus Morrison fight at Manchester? I think it was because obviously I've had a fair camp and I had six to eight weeks. I think I had eight weeks notice and I had a, eight weeks off work, fell on a sponsor, um, had a good win against Marcus Morrison. And um, But th then, even then, that buggered me up a bit because I didn't get nothing after that. But um, all guns blazing since that. So we've had some, we've picked up the British title, we've defended it. And um, we caught the world last year, so we won a roll, but it was just we didn't get the win out there. But I'm guaranteed, obviously, there'll be a good, it'll be a good performance, and it's my time to get back under these lights and prove that I've still, I've still got this in me, and I'm stopping here. And this is the weight for you, super welterweight, because you had that run yeah, with, yeah. at middleweight where you beat Tommy Langford. I felt good and felt strong at middleweight, but uh, I was making the weight easy. It's like the last weeks, the sacrifices, and doing it out in LA when you're away, or being in Leeds, to, it's a lot more easier this time than it, be flying out. And So I was thinking, is it the weight? But when I got in that ring, I felt strong at light middle, so I might as well give it another go at light middle. And you've still got plenty to offer, and we'll see you come, up, come on World Champion this weekend? Yes, definitely. Thanks very much. Yeah, thanks Thank for that. You. Appreciate it.